good and evil, night and day. Complete opposites, yet one and the same. And once when I was in fifth or sixth grade, I was at a baseball game. My team was 0-0. It, zero, zero. it was the ninth inning. Nobody had scored the game. One team had a really fast pitcher that nobody could hit on, on my team. But in the ninth inning, I hit the ball. In fact, it wasn't a great hit at all. It just bounced right in front of the plate. But I made it to first base, so someone immediately after me hit the ball and scored in two runs. It's a good memory. It's a nice memory. But because I'm speaking, you think I'm entitled to win, not that other team. You didn't hear their perspective. And they had every right to win as we did. But that day, I stepped up and our team won. Often things are categorized as one or the other. And people will often end up on one side or the other and believe in that side by the fault and that the other side is bad. It's very rare for people to see both sides and sympathize and empathize with both. This can be seen in the Hundred Years' War. When the war lasted so long just because they had been fighting, they literally forgot the reason what started the war. Wasting lives on some long forgotten reasons, but war was all they knew. So they went on giving their opponents no advantage. And odds are this war continued because somebody you knew got killed fighting this war. And now you have a grudge against the country. Many people got killed, and eventually it took a while, but they finally made peace. And uh, the reason um, that they went on a hundred years war is because the King of England just wanted to become the King of France and gain more power. Now, I'm no expert, but by any means, one of the major reasons that people become so entrenched in their ideas is pride, honor, or whatever else you want to call it. And people will start to lose respect for other people's ideas and ideals, especially in politics. Society can't work without compromise, and these people in politics today have done it as little as possible. This is causing a divide where egos take over and people lose respect to, with each other, and this leads to conflict, much like the modern day issue of Israel. Now, Israel and its existence are eh, just a bit controversial in itself. They're surrounded by majority Islamic nations who would rather have them not exist. The nation of Israel was created after World War II and the Holocaust, right off the bat. And in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, there were four wars with neighbors, and Israel won every single one. Obviously, they were fine with that, but they won. If you can't beat us, then we were put here to stay by God. So, stinks for you. The country was originally supposed to be divided into what was then Palestine and where the Jewish country of Israel coming in. And Palestine didn't get any representatives on how their country was split up. So, they decided not to agree with the UN solution. Well, as time went on, their luck turned against them and they got even less territory. And Israel basically won't deal with it. Both nations have a right to the country. Palestine currently has been getting the short end of the stick, but that doesn't mean the Holocaust was nothing. In fact, it was one of the most, if not the most, defining horrors of the Nazi regime. So let me encourage you all to find the answers and truth before taking sides, and even still have respect for others' ideas, because they're different, but they're never wrong. Thank you.